we've, we've reduced our carbon footprint from our scope one emissions by 44% from our 2010 baseline. Our choice on campus has been to, rather than move away from coal towards natural gas, which is what a lot of campuses have done, because if you do that, you automatically cut your carbon footprint in half from coal to natural gas. But the feeling on our campus was that if you, if you take that approach, um, you end up um, changing your infrastructure out for natural gas. And natural gas doesn't allow you to get to net zero, right? Once you make that, that switch, yes, you've, cut your, you've immediately cut your emissions in half, but there's no pathway to a reduction from there. The University of Iowa is taking the approach of saying, we're going to get off coal for sure, but we're going to do it in a way that does not lock us into a new fossil fuel regime. A lot of students want to be engaged in how we can reduce water consumption on campus. There are places that that can happen that would have a better effect than some other buildings. But um, other than that, we do have students that engage quite a bit with um, garbage and recycling on campus. So they do a lot of, um, they wanna do a lot of diversion of food waste from our waste streams, which helps um, not just our campus footprint, but I think the city of Iowa City's footprint in general, which is always really intriguing to people on campus and within the city um, too. Another challenge we're facing that we wanna address is this idea that the water, the surface water that hits our campus and flows into the Iowa River is not the best quality it could be. And so we want to focus a goal for our 2030 goals on thinking about the water we're putting back into that flows through our campus and goes into our river. How do we make sure that it's that it's clean? It's not full of motor oil and other contaminants and coming off parking lots, surface areas that we're slowing it down so we're not creating surges downstream. We've spent since 2019, going through the process of reporting on the 2020 goals um, and learning what worked on campus, what didn't work on campus, and then how we could create new goals for 2030. They're in the areas of energy, reducing campus's energy usage, um, water and water quality on campus. The last one is waste. So we're gonna try, we're trying to figure out um, language on it, but we're hoping some sort of a zero waste standard uh, for 2030, which is really exciting.